The session was about uh, the huge rising power projects devoted to development of innovation and technologies in Russia and China. I talked about some weaknesses and strengths and what uh, policymakers should do in order to improve uh, the innovation activity of, uh, of Russia. Some of the things that we found is that the, the, both Russia and China uh, have a lot of uh, common past. Big academies of sciences, universities focused on teaching, state-owned industries, strong government role. And now, um, in the last uh, 30 years or so, a focus on science and technology development, innovation parks, promotion of, of, of um, high technologies to foster the next uh, wave of growth. China's achievement comes from several factors. One is the government commitment uh, in turning Chinese society into an innovation-oriented one. The secondly, China has witnessed a uh, return of those students and scholars and researchers and entrepreneurs who have been away from China for a period of time. Now they take advantage of the Chinese economy, various opportunities offered by the government. It was quite curious to learn uh, from China's experience of uh, development of innovation because China uh, experiences quite the same problems as uh, post-Soviet uh, economy. So many of, of the Chinese case studies could be useful maybe for Russia to learn from. I think it's very important to understand the nature of the changes, uh, what's driving them, particularly what's happening in emerging technologies, uh, both from a research management, research collaboration, but also from business. Uh, and innovation collaboration opportunities. These rising power countries are going to play an increasingly important role in economic kind of transformation, economic growth of the, the entire world.